right lovelies so I thought that I would show you some of the Christmas cheer in my house because I last night was like a mad woman because I'm finally off my antibiotics so I'm starting to feel a little bit better and I um, wrapped a bunch of stuff and then um, I wanted to decorate the tree like I mentioned yesterday and I did and I wanted my parents to wake up and see it and everything and just have it all done and a nice surprise for them because they've been doing so much for me and um, my dad put this little tree thing in my room I've had that there for ages I think you guys have seen that in old videos um, side note I do not know how to turn the lights on in the house. Uh, that's really embarrassing, but I just don't. Um, one time I was FaceTiming, I think, with Lindsay, and she was like, show me your house. And so I was like, yeah, okay. And I went out and was like trying to turn on the lights, and I was like, uh, I literally have no idea how to turn on the lights. Because there's like lights everywhere. Like, look right here. Two lights. What do they control? I have no idea none whatsoever um and then there's like just a bazillion lights and i have no idea what they do so it's gonna be a little bit dark and then i'll show you in the living room which is kind of dark but you'll see the lights and stuff i don't want to turn on the lights and i have to be kind of quiet because my parents are sleeping like right across the way like my room is on the complete opposite side of the house and um, the living room is like right there and the walls in Florida are like paper thin paper um, so it's gonna get a little bit dark but don't get scared I'm still with you don't you fret and then you'll get to see Christmas tree I got the, brought the angel from our house and they decorated the whole thing um, the only sucky thing about this is, is that it's kind of like out in the middle of the room. So, it, oh my gosh, I'm not even showing it to you. It has to be decorated like 360. Oh my gosh, I was so tired last night. I was like, usually like our trees are like in the corner and you can just like decorate the one side of it. But no, my mom got in a spirit and she made this like tinsel tray to put our... Because obviously we don't have a fireplace here because it's freaking Florida. And then my dad put this like cute little tree like I have in my room in there. And then it's going to get a little dark but you'll see the lights my dad did. Um, oh you can't really see them that well. But it's like tinsel with lights in it and it has like bulbs. This is the lanai area. And like right there. That window next to that frame is where my parents' room is, so that's why I have to be quiet because they are really, really close and they can hear everything. My dad's not having trouble sleeping, so I don't want to wake him up because I know what that's like, not being able to sleep. I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. Um, I don't have my room set up, but I mean, I guess I can show you some stuff. I have, this is my vanity. And I have these like little, what are they called? Like, um, sconces? Something like that. And I actually use them to like hang my jewelry from. I have them on both sides. And I hang like, like I have some, okay, hold on, let me hold on. I'm like trying to hold the camera and this at the same time. Um, some shorter jewelry up here and then like my long jewelry still goes down there and I just have a ton of crap and brushes and stuff like that on there because I haven't messed with that at all and I have some of Bella's toys that the Alice <laughs> the other stuff is her toys and whatnot and I have some like bracelets and then like the longer necklaces there too and just some candles and then I have my TV which I have like a little chihuahua and an owl that my best friend Monica got me that I'm obsessed with. Um, this little pear thing that I just think is so 
freaking cute. It came in like a gift box that my cousin sent with the most amazing pears I've ever had in my entire life. And I don't even like pears. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah. The, I'm, I wanted to redecorate a bunch when I got here. And, um, but obviously we all know that didn't happen. Um, but I'm going to be putting a shelf above my, um, bed. And then I'm going to put that owl on there. I don't know what else is going to go on there, but the owl is the plan. Like, the, sh the shelf is specifically for the owl and then, like, other things. That's how obsessed I am with it. I was looking for it everywhere and I could not believe when she whipped it out I was just like well when I whipped it out because she gave it to me for my birthday and I was just like oh, this is exactly what I was looking for um so I'm really obsessed with it I love owls so much I have so many owls let me just, let me just show you this area okay there's an owl on my um nightstand and then there's an owl picture there and then an owl on my, my parents got that for me when they were here in the summer. The one with the like owl and the baby owl. And then there's actually another owl picture underneath, but I just shoved it under there because I was sick and I didn't want to deal with it. But there's another owl underneath there that used to be, where did they, where were they hanging up? Oh, they used to be on the, um... I don't know what they're called, the can where the candles were, and I was like, I don't like that, I don't like the candles there. Um, but yeah, I want to, like, kind of do some DIY type stuff and, like, redo the stuff on my walls because it is old, it is very old. Um, yep, and then I've just been trying to work my way through uh, these packages, but I talked to my best friends, um, Aaron and Alicia today and I was like is there any way that I can just send a package to one of you guys and you guys can like pick it up from each other's houses or something because at least that would be like one less box for me to send out um just because like oh my gosh I have like literally 500 boxes in North Carolina but here I have like two so um I'm trying to get the stuff into the box that I can and then I'm gonna have to buy boxes from the postal office or however that works I'm not much of a like postage person for some reason the bank the gas station and the um, post office I'm like terrified of them so weird so freaking weird um, but yeah so I've just been trying to make some headway I organized a bit last night which made me feel so much better because my room is actually a mess I don't even know how it was but it didn't feel very clean when I came in here and then I guess just being sick just made it so much worse so um but yeah I guess you guys well, I guess the only thing that's different in the background here is sometimes you can see my vent and the string of lights is I feel like it's like that Sesame Street thing, like one of these things is not like the other. Um, the string of lights is green and in my other room it's white. But I actually my dad got me a white string of lights, so that that's gonna change too. But yeah, my bed look pretty much looks the same and um so that's why probably a lot of you guys didn't notice that at the beginning of the year I was in Florida and then I went to North Carolina because it's the same color. This is a little bit darker background. It's a like accent wall, so it's a little bit more purpley, and I love it. I wish the whole room was that color, but uh, my parents were not into that, so it's kind of like a lighter purple in the rest of it. And then I have gray cur the same exact gray curtains and everything. <sighs> I don't know. Anxiety is weird. I just like things to be the same. Um, but I have lots of yarn here, and I brought all my needles for knitting, and, um, yeah. I just hope that you guys are having a good day, and that, oh, I, I heard from a lot of people you guys are flaring. I'm guessing it's the weather probably getting really cold in a lot of places, and it's been fluctuating at night here. Um, 
I know yesterday I started going into a flare. Um, but luckily I can take my medicine for my fibro now that I'm not throwing up non-stop. So it's not horrible, but I do have a headache today. It's not a migraine, so blesses. Um, but yeah, I'm praying for you guys and I hope that um, your flares settle down and, or whatever illness, whatever the word is for that in your illness. Um, I hope that everybody's just in good health. You know, but I'm pain for stress for the day, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. And I'm sending y'all big hugs and kisses. And I will talk to you soon. Bye!